Welcome to this QGlobal deep dive video on accessing digital assets. My name is Daniela Maglioni, and I'm a National Senior Clinical Consultant here at Pearson. This video will focus on three different topics. For the first section, we will focus on how to find the list of current digital assets available from Pearson. The second section will be dedicated to account owners and administrators, as we will walk through the process of managing digital assets that have been purchased for use. The third section of the video will be applicable to practitioners, as we will demonstrate how to access and use digital assets that have been allocated to them. In order to obtain a current list of digital assets available from Pearson, please navigate to our webpage by typing in www.pearsonassessments.com forward slash telepractice. Once at this page, you will notice a tab that is labeled Q Global Resource Library. In order to view the PDF, please click on the tab. The list of available digital assets will then be in view. Please do not forget to scroll down as the list contains many products as well as their product numbers. This section of the video will be dedicated to Q Global account owners and administrators as we will walk through the process of managing digital manuals and stim books that have been purchased for their account. To begin, log into Q Global by typing in your username and password. Then, navigate to the Account Details page by clicking on the Manage Accounts link above and then clicking on the Entity Name. This will then take you to the Entity Account Details page, which contains tabs detailing information pertaining to the account. Please click on the Inventory tab. Assets are allocated or assigned on a per-user level, so before a user can utilize an asset, it needs to be allocated to them. For this video, we will be using the Cell 5 Digital Stimulus Book as an example. To allocate an asset, click on the Manage link in the Actions column of the Asset table. Clicking on this link navigates you to the Manage My Assets page. If your account structure contains one or more subaccounts, select the Include Subaccounts option to add those users to the table allowing you to allocate or deallocate assets to them. Here, we can see the number of purchase assets, the number of assets that have been allocated, and the number of assets that are ready for allocation. To allocate an asset to a user, please click on the name or names of the users, and then click on the Allocate Selected tab. After an asset has been allocated to a user, the user can then access that asset in the resource library. Additionally, you can navigate through your purchase assets by clicking on the Assets dropbox and selecting the desired asset. In this example, we will be clicking on the Cell 5 Examiner Manual. To allocate a manual, please click on the box next to the examiner's names and then select the Allocate Selected tab. A message in blue will then appear indicating that the assets have been successfully allocated to the users. This section of the video will be dedicated to Q Global users or practitioners as we will demonstrate how to access digital manuals and stimulus books. After signing into Q Global, Please look for the resource library in the navigation bar at the very top of the page in white font and then click. Under the resources folder, you will see additional folders. Please scroll down to view a complete list of measures. Click on the name of the test for which you would like to view the digital manual or stimulus book. For example, if you'd like to view the cell 5 manual or stimulus book, please click on the plus sign next to cell 5. Two folders will then open, a general and a restricted folder. The general folder contains information such as sample reports, verbal stimuli, and information on how to use your digital assets on QGlobal. The restricted folder contains items such as digital manuals, located here, and digital stimulus books. To view the verbal stimuli for the Cell 5, please click on Cell 5 Verbal Stimuli, and the document will then appear. Notice the printer icon on the top right-hand corner. This icon allows you to print the document for administration purposes. 
In order to access the Cell 5 Examiner's Manual, please click on Cell 5 Examiner's Manual. This action will open a new tab allowing you to view the Cell 5 Examiner's Manual. The magnifying glass icon on the top left hand corner of the page is used to represent a search tool. After clicking on the magnifying glass, please enter the keyword or phrase that you're searching for. The book icon in the top left hand corner of the page can also help you navigate through the manual. Within the table of contents, you can click directly on a particular topic of interest or chapter to navigate directly to that page. Once again, within the resource library, click on Cell 5 Digital Stimulus Book to access that asset. This action will open a new tab allowing you to access the Digital Stimulus Book. Click on the arrow icon here to turn the page in the Digital Stim Book. At the bottom of the page, you will then see another arrow. Click on the arrow to proceed to the Table of Contents. Notice the arrow keys located at the bottom of the page. These can be used to navigate from one page to the next. Click on the four arrows at the top of the screen to maximize the view. Here, subtests are hyperlinked, so clicking on a particular subtest will take you directly to that page. Once again, use the arrows located at the bottom of the page to navigate from one page to the next. To navigate back to the table of contents, click on the home icon at the very bottom of the page. As a last resource, within the Q Global Resource Library, please be sure to click on Using Your Digital Assets on Q Global to find other pertinent information to include appropriate use and before testing. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you have found this resource helpful.